watching the turn. Let's go to work, boy. Look. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's me, Jay Van Dam. This morning I'm getting ready to go do a little fishing. One of my favorite things to do this time of year is to throw a jig and a twister tail. And I just really enjoy going out for a couple hours, standing on the bank and throwing a jig and twister tail. To prepare, uh, my mindset is always based on where I'm gonna go. Then I go back in my mind and I think about all the times I've fished there and what's worked best. And, um, and so I sort of base the beginning of each trip on that. Like yesterday, we were successful, caught a pretty nice channel cat yesterday on a jig and twister tail, and they'll hit those pretty good this time of year. Along with um, carp or bass, uh, sulgai, sulgur, walleye, any, any fish will uh, pretty much hit a, a jig and twister um, early in the season. Like I said, this is the very end of January. Usually our rivers are completely iced over. Right now, though, we've been blessed with just fantastic weather. It's almost going to be 60 degrees today. So everybody's itching to get out, of course. He ate it. Huge. He's huge. He's huge. Yeah, but that just look at that little channel. Munch that. He's the littlest one of the day. It's like fish number six there. Huge. When I'm getting ready, I always reel off like double the amount probably of my rod and line. And I always like to snip that off and start with hopefully what's a little bit fresher line. Probably 12 foot of line or so. Yesterday, the pattern that seemed to work the best was using this bright orange quarter ounce jig head. If you guys have watched me in the past, when I'm fishing live bait, I always throw real tiny, you know, jigs. But this time of the year, I like to throw a bigger head. It gets down on the bottom nice. So yesterday, when we fished, this, this jig, and this is one of my favorite twister tails. It's called Melky Salt and Pepper. This is a four inch tail. I prefer a four inch tail. Uh, sometimes I use threes, but basically I use fours. This was what, pro what produced yesterday. I tried three or four different colors. My mindset for today is I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna throw what worked yesterday to begin with. So I always like to tie something on, you know, make sure my knots are good and, and think about what I'm gonna be doing when I'm out there. And you know, all the scenarios run through my mind as I'm preparing for a trip. I wanna think about where I was casting and you know, when, it seems like when you get there and you start fishing, you're really in the moment. So if you give yourself this time as you're getting ready to go, to sort of look back on, on trips 10 years ago or five years ago or yesterday, whatever the case may be, uh, it can give you an insight as where to begin for today. He's swimming right upstream, dude. You giving you a fight? Yeah, it's a good fish. Look at that, both of his side fins are chewed. Yeah, he's been through the war. He's a big old dude. Nice big fat channel. January 31st, so we're winter time. There's still ice coming off the edges. You can see really good looking fish. Healthy, fat, nice winter time channel cat. Rods in the dirt, doing a grub, quarter inch jig head. So I'm going to tie this jig on, this jig head. Use a simple fisherman knot. That's basically it's a really good knot. It's been great for me all these years that I've fished. And so uh, I pretty much go with it most of the time. Sometimes I switch around and use a Rapala knot because um, it's a loop and it lets things move a little freer like if you're throwing a crankbait or something like that. But I'd say 90% of the time I use a fisherman's knot. So we cinch that down tight. Clip it off now. The twister tail is designed to throw it like this with the tail up. Um, I do that sometimes, but I'm not scared to go ahead and flip it over and run it like this. The difference is, especially a sandy, sandy type area, 
as you're dragging this across the bottom, if you have the twister tail hanging down like that, it'll, it'll stir up a little bit of that sand, a little bit of that mud. And so it'll give the effect maybe of a crawl dad or something jumping across the bottom or a minnow in distress swimming across the bottom. And so there's a basic, basic setup. And this today is what I'm going to go out and throw right off the bat. I did rig this one with the tail up. And I'll try that to start with. And then maybe I throw 10 or 12 or 15 times. I'm not liking what's going on. You know, I'll turn it over or I'll switch out to a different color. If you throw for 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes and you're not getting anything, throw a different color. Throw a different weight. Don't be ex afraid to experiment. You know, simple things, details. Like once you get there and you're, maybe you're throwing it like that, you're not happy with the response, go ahead and flip that tail over. Literally, that's made a difference in the past for me. It's just sitting there. I was just letting it settle. It's all good. It's what I've been working for today. I switched out colors from the original video this morning. I switched off and on. He crushed it, man. They're laying right up in their feet. Nice. I saw Pike earlier swim up here. Caught a couple of channels to get the teeth. He crushed it. So I went to a heavier jig. I went to a 3 8 ounce. Kept the same tail though. I've thrown all different kind of colors. I've been changing all afternoon. Beautiful fish. Just beautiful. Beautiful coloration. Real aggressive right now. It's winter time. Into January. We crushed it. We're definitely eating up there. But this is good. Good winter time deal. You can go out. Just stand on the bank. Relax. Throw a jig and a twister tail for a few hours. And you know it's, it's a way in the winter time to keep tuned. Um, get the feel for your rods and everything and um, yeah it's just good to get out when you can of course to fish I always say the best thing about fishing is being there if you catch fish that's a bonus just being there getting your mind straight uh, getting in tune with nature recharging whatever that you know it does for you that's what it does for me give it a try we'll see if we catch any fish today we'll get that action on video for you and let you see what the results was, if they was good or not. And you'll probably see me switch through different things. And uh, we'll definitely hook you up if we catch some fish. It's a good way to start the day. Hey guys, Maddie Action here. I wanted to thank you for watching the video and to let you know all the new things coming from Rods in the Dirt. First off, in this video you will have noticed a brand new intro and song, accompanied by the new Rods in the Dirt logo. We also have a new line of Rods in the Dirt merchandise featuring the new logo and Jay's face coming soon on our brand new website, RodsInTheDirt.com. We've been working really hard collecting a backlog of footage that we plan to release this year on our new channel, Rods in the Dirt Fishing. The new channel will feature all the upcoming new episodes, so be sure to subscribe. You can find the new channel at youtube.com forward slash rods in the dirt fishing. And by clicking the annotation below, we've put a lot of time and effort into our current channel, but we feel it's time to move on. With the limited opportunity YouTube's provided us with our current channel, it's really stifled our creativity and ability to post new videos. Our hope is with the new website and channel, we can generate enough attention and support that we can keep Rods in the Dirt going strong into the future. So make sure to subscribe to our new channel, Rods in the Dirt Fishing, and support us by any way you can. You can hit the like button, share, and be sure to visit the new RodsInTheDirt.com.